Hello Capricorn, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly week no sorry weekly love reading for the week of March 11th through the 18th, 2019. Ooh, I'm feeling anxiety already. <laughs> the cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Whoa. Somebody need to do some grounding, some relaxing right now. Okay. All right, I feel like we should go ahead with the reading now because this energy that's coming out of me is ready, ready to go, okay? So let's get this shit on the road. What's going on with the Capricorn? Capricorn, 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 what's going on, what's going on, what's going on? All right. So it does seem like some secrets are getting ready to come out for some of you guys, okay? And I feel like somebody's going to have to give up or leave something that they love when these secrets come out. Mm. All right, so it seems like um, somebody has a time out right now, okay? I feel like, honestly, somebody took a break from you. Okay, but it could be the other way around, okay? It's either one way or the other. All right, so it seems like somebody took a third-party break. Somebody left for somebody else. Okay? All right, yeah, so I feel like this secret is definitely getting ready to come out if it didn't come out already. All right, give me one card for the secret, please, for the Capricorn. Oh, wow. All right, yeah, so it seems like the secret is getting ready to come out that this person left you for somebody else. Okay, or you left this person, um, your ex, for somebody new. Mm, mm. All right, so we got the presence card here. So it seems like somebody left for someone on the outside because they're doing more, giving more presents. Um, just, I feel like a material gain. Okay, somebody definitely left for material gain. Okay, um, I feel like it's been at least three months or this third party situation has been happening for three months. All right. All right. So we have the future. Let me move this over some. Oh, look at me. I'm so clumsy. Always knocking stuff over. All right. So we got the future fake card here. So, it seems like, I'm sorry, but it's saying that this was meant to happen, okay? For this person leaving you so you can go um, fulfill your destiny, fulfill your fate, okay? Be with the one that you're supposed to be with. But I feel like this person was teaching you a lesson, okay? A life lesson. Okay? And it seems like out of this, some of you guys came out stronger than... You went in, okay? It seems like you're looking at yourself more powerful, more beautiful, more intelligent, you know? Just better than this person that you're with. I feel like somebody's getting, I can't believe that I dealt with you, feeling bad for you. And now, you know, you turn around and leave me and cheat on me for somebody else, okay? Thank you. Okay? All right, yeah, so this secret is definitely, did we start off like we ended uh, but yeah, the secret is getting ready to come out about this um, third party person. So this makes me feel like somebody is already gone or like as soon as somebody disappear, that's when somebody's going to find out all the little secrets. Okay, like, oh, so this is where you were gone. All right, what's going on with the Capricorn? Capricorn love reading for March 11th. Through the 18th, 2019. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right. 
right, I'm still feeling the anxiety, y'all. So it seems like somebody is very hurt about hearing this, even though it's like already over. All right, so it seems like some kind of messages came through, but I do also feel like you're moving forward. Okay, but this also makes me feel like positive messages are coming to you. So this could be family, friends, or this could be this little cheater trying to send you messages as well. All right, Capricorn. All right, so the King of Cups. So I do feel like you are going to be moving forward from this heartless, disloyal person, okay? Definitely moving forward from this person. But, of course, this person is still going to be a cheater when they go to this new person. And when they kick him out or her out, they're going to be coming knocking back on your door. Okay, trying to send you the I love yous and I made a mistake. Let's work this out. Okay. Oh, wow. So, I'm getting the story here. It's two stories here. I feel like some this sob story is going to work for some of you, okay? But then I also feel like some of you guys are definitely going to move on with success, okay? But I do feel like the people who are um, trusted... Hey, what are you doing? Sorry. The people who are um, believing this person with this sob story, they're going into this relationship... Um, with a new attitude, it's just like somebody's going to be nipping it in the butt. Somebody doing anything wrong. Hey, don't do this. Okay, you can, don't do that. You know, somebody's going back into it as a drill sergeant. It's like, do you stop? Sorry. Don't do that. I think she's chewing on a wall. No. All right. Yeah. So it seems like somebody's going to be like a drill sergeant when they get back into this relationship. So I don't know. All right, let's see what this page of wands is about. One card, please, for the Capricorn. All right, yeah, so it seems like somebody is going to be sending you positive uh, messages. Um, I feel like this is the it's going to be from the ex as well, but I feel like at that point, the passion is going to be gone, okay? I feel like it's going to be filled with anxiety and anger. Sorry, anxiety and anger. Okay, and then I feel like other messages coming in like, oh, or forget about that. You know, you weren't getting the things that you needed. You wasn't getting any help. You know, they're going to be sending you positive messages about this person being gone and how you can restart your life successfully. All right. All right. What is this King of Cups about one card, please, for the Capricorn? All right. Ace of Cups. So it seems like, yeah, this relationship is lost. The passion is lost. And the motion is lost too, okay? So it seems like this person that you're dealing with as well is very unemotional, okay? This person doesn't care about relationships. This person has no loyalty to anybody at all but their self. I mean, you can tell about that. Oh, wow, anxiety. Because this person left for somebody because they give them things, okay? They give, can give them or, or will give them or have been giving them more than you have or you will, Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, all right. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Yeah, so Ten of Wands fell on the success there. So this is basically saying by relieving your burdens, by letting this person go, by not fighting hard emotionally and physically in all the ways you can fight to keep this thing together, you'd be successful. So it seems like the most success is moving on. I wanted to say that earlier where... Like, who wants to live like a drill sergeant trying to tell somebody left, right, left, right all the time, you know? And if you tell them not to, to do, not, if you don't tell them which way they need to go, they're bumping in the walls or bumping in other people, you know? Nobody wants to live like that. So I feel like that's why this car fell out is to let you know that your success comes from letting go of these burdens, okay? Because it's like this person is a ritual cheater, okay? They're going to cheat till they can't move anymore, okay? All right, six of wands. One card, please, for the Capricorn. All right. So, I feel like in this leaving situation, too, I do feel like money is coming from you. I feel like raises at jobs. So, I feel like somebody's going to be definitely more focused on their self and improving their self monetarily and, um... 
I feel like somebody's going to be enjoying their time a lot more too. Okay, just taking themselves out, maybe going out with friends and family, just enjoying life, living life, okay? All right, so yes, so it seems like soon here we got the passion going, we got the relationship over with. Um and I feel like somebody's going to reheal from this moment, this 3 of swords moment. Somebody's re somebody's in the healing process, process of a a heartbreak, okay? But I feel like as soon as that healing process is done, here come this, I don't want to say food because the food card is a good card, okay? Here comes this person, you know, trying to uh, break up that happy home, slide in and get, you know, what they, what they want, all right? But, of course, it's your life. It's up to you, and that's all I have. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.